What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Today, this video we got for you today is basically this is gonna be if y'all didn't know i ended up getting first seed a while back like last month i ended up getting first seed and qualifying but i qualified while i was streaming and a couple people quit for me without me asking like i didn't come through and just say hey did somebody match up with me i probably had like 25 2600 viewers on twitch and i didn't ask anybody to quit but some of the people who knew me ran into me while i was on stream and they just gave me the game but quits don't even get you points quits get you like five per quit but 2K ended up disqualifying me from first seed because it was boosting, you know, quotation marks. So cool, this month I come in with a vengeance. I come in and guess what? I re-get first seed, no stream, no boosting, no nothing, just to prove like they they capped out. So this video just basically gonna be me showing my lineup, me showing my players badged out and just showing you some gameplay while giving advice for 250K. Cause a lot of people come to me and they like, Bro, I actually didn't lose for the whole four hours, but I was 27th. Or I didn't lose the whole four hours, but I was 16th. What can I do better? What can I do this? What can I do that? You feel me? So that's basically what this video is just going to be about. So just make sure you tune in. This might be a long one. might be a little shorter one. But we'll see how it is. The third seed in Jazz Gaming at Point Guard from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's Splashy! For 250, I stayed with my regular competitive lineup that came out. The new cars just came out, and I wanted all of them to come off the bench. A lot of people might ask why I didn't start Giannis. I ended up starting Melo because most of the people starting Giannis are going to have Giannis on my best shooter. Melo's probably the best shooter out of my lineup, and if you leave him, like, it's it's automatic. So if I play a cop person and he wants to swing and sweet spot and do this with, with Giannis on Carmelo, I'm going to light him up like the 4th of July. Of course, I have Steph Curry off the bench in case I run into a complete bot. Like, because then Steph Curry's going to light him up. But if I play a comp player, Steph Curry can't play because he's going to get abused. I got Sean Marion off the bench just in case they have Giannis at the four. And I don't want I don't want to bring my Giannis in my starting lineup. I want to have my Giannis off the bench with D-Rob to have his back. So I got Sean Marion and Dolph Shays to come in at the four, depending on the person I play. So we go over the badges, though. I got Penny at the starting PG right now. Um, What did I get my Penny? I have shoes on all of my players as well. But... Penny, uh, my Penny has Hoff Mouse in the house. He has Gold Glue Hands, Dead Eye, Intimidator, and Rim Protector. Let's go to the next person. My Clay Thompson is very souped. He has Limitless Spot Up. He has Dead Eye. He has Bullet Passer. He has Hoff Grace Under Pressure. Has Gold Rim Protector. Chef, Mismatch, and Chase Down Artist. My Paul George is also souped. He has Dead Eye, Green Machine, one of the, I think, difficult shots, and Catch and Shoot. Hoff Rebound Chaser, Brick Wall, Rim Protector, Post Lockdown and Box, but it's because Paul George can't get any other badges, so these are just defensive badges I threw on them just because. My Carmelo Anthony, I ended up giving him Clamps, Intimidator, Box, Chase Down, and Rim Protector. You can change out Box for Ball Stripper in case he's down there trying to get, getting ready to get matched by uh, another player. The Hakeem that I just locked in from the Mystic set. I like him. He's my third favorite player all the time, basically, because uh, my favorite players are guards, and the only player that's in my top five, probably, that's not a guard is Hakeem, so I love me some Hakeem, so I ended up locking him in just so I could stabilize my qualification. Like, I'm really locked if I locked him in. If I locked him in and didn't qualify, I wasted my time, but if I locked him in and qualified, it was worth it. But I ended up giving him fast twitch, grace under pressure, green machine, quick first step, and limitless spot up. We go on to Gary Payton. If you don't got him, time is running out, baby. You need to hurry up. I gave him Rim Protector, Post, Lockdown, Chef, Dead Eye, and Limitless Takeoff. But you should take off Limitless Takeoff for either Rebound Chaser, Circus Threes, or Stop and Pop because he can't get Limitless Takeoff dunks. This is just what I had him on at the time. My James Harden. Uh, he has Pickpocket. He has Dimer. He got Tyler's Defender. He got Mismatch. He got Limitless Spot Up. He got Bullet Passer. And I added Brick Wall, Rim Protector, Interceptor, Limitless Takeoff, and Hot Zone Hunter. For Tracy McGrady, I ended up giving him Rim Protector, Clamps, Green Machine Handles for Days, and Interceptor. You're going to see a lot of Green Machines with my badge because Green Machine is like my placebo badge. Everybody has that badge that's like their favorite badge. Like that, if you don't have it, you feel like you're just, that's just not him. And that's like my badge. Like I put Green Machine on everybody. My Giannis has Hoff Rebound Chaser, Hoff Clamps, 
half space creator, which I could have been taking off, but I didn't. Catch and shoot, corner specialist, limitless spot up green machine. I know most of y'all gonna be why no sniper. Giannis's three point rating is too low for you to put sniper on him for it to work. Like if you give him gold sniper, when he gets a full bar, he's gonna miss it nine times out of 10. So you're wasting sniper on him when you could just give him something else. And then my David Robinson, probably the best player on my team, comes with all of these hubs. The only ones that I know off the top of my head is Chase Down, Limitless Spot Up, Quick First Step, Dead Eye, and Bullet. And these should also be the five badges that you give him. Like, even if they're not Huff, these should be the five gold badges you give him. Maybe not Dead Eye, you could give him something else. Um, the, the other three those don't really matter. Those are my filler characters, basically. Well, filler players, I'm sorry watching too much tv but yeah that's basically the squad and we're gonna get into it with some gameplay just some calm gameplay y'all gonna get to see how i was moving during 250 what was i doing during 250 that maybe you weren't doing through 250 what should you look for a little bit more when you're playing in 250 stuff like that so this was a half decent guy he actually ended up pausing before me and one of the things i have when i'm playing the game is if you pause before me then like i believe you're somewhat comp and i'm gonna take you serious and probably do my settings i could tell by people's lineups like whether i think they're gonna be a game or not like if you have chris mullen in your lineup devin booker if i saw glenn robinson if i saw any form of a budget player that i'm not afraid of like i kind of you know was ready to get to it but basically it was just a lot of a lot of defense a lot of trying to speed people up sometimes they're gonna get fluke buckets but it's only so much you could do about that Again, boom. He was halfway decent though. Like he wasn't that bad. Like out of the players I played, I out of 250, he was probably the second best player I did play. And I still ended up beating him by a lot too. You see, you look for the threes whenever you can. Like you're looking for threes. You're trying to run the score up as much as possible because that's how you get points. It's off score. It's not off quits. It's not off it being strength of schedule or something. Because if you play somebody with a logo, you get more points. It's none of that. It's just you need to put up as many points as possible. So you need to get on the break and you need to try to bait them into doing whatever you need them to do so you can get on the other end and get up a three. But just some regular defense. You see me doing a lot of on ball so I could just try to chase him around. I'm switching back off ball to make sure I bait him. That's a perfect defensive possession. But like even things like that, like I don't want that. I don't want those, those. 24 second violations because that's 24 seconds off off my day that I don't have no more He just left me like for no reason like I told y'all Melo's literally my best shooter like he's literally my best shooter So you see him running another set. He's not really doing much like I'm here See I keep switching on the straight from real quick like that, that, that There's why we switching off ball to bait You know you got to off ball a little bit of my team You got to on ball a little bit like you see me on ball to chase him in case he outruns my uh, CPU So I get to contest but things like this like we're out we're on the break That's a quick point that's a two second possession for me That's what you want when you're playing in 250 it's already 11 to 2 like you don't want to just go back and forth, go back and forth, go back and forth. You want to run the score up as much as possible, get quick blocks, launch the ball to one, launch the ball to two, and get that ball up court. That's all you want to do. I don't know how that was a very late. I ain't even shoot that. Could have took my two. But yeah, sometimes it's going to also falter because, like, you should have took your two. Like, I should have took my two right there. I just didn't. But, like, you're going to eventually run the score up. But players like this, players that you – I'm going to tell you how it's supposed to go, though. Players that you think are half decent and you actually want them to – Quit. Oh my goodness. This was the funniest play I saw today. Like, I don't know how his I don't know how he just jumped. Woohoo! Went right over the scoreboard. But players that are half decent that you know, like, I might not beat him by 50, I might only beat him by like 15, or I might only beat him by 20. Those are the players that you want to quit early so you can get somebody who is complete garbage. Like, this player, like, even though I am cooking him. He still is not as bad as, like, maybe the next player I'll play. Or maybe a player I'll play in, in two more games, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, so I would want him to quit in the first quarter so I could play versus somebody. Boom. Exactly what I'm saying. I want him to quit so I can get on to the next game. I want to play somebody else. I want to you see I wasn't first at the time. Only got 61 points for that quit. RCA is right behind me. 11's right behind me. Breezy's at five. Half Elijah Wan's at six. I don't know who Legacy is. And you know I waited every I waited in the middle for about five ten seconds before I searched just to make sure like in case and j just so I could make sure nothing happens. Boom. Let's go right to the next game, shall we? I do my settings at the speed of light, as everybody knows. Boom. So I see Stephen Curry on the same court as Michael Jordan, and I undo my matchups. I was getting ready to do my matchups and get started, but I undid my matchups because I saw him have Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is one of those cards that I was just explaining earlier. If I see, when I looked at people's lineups, if I saw specifics in your lineup, I stopped worrying about you. 
He has a Michael Jordan. That Michael Jordan card is like, I'm not afraid of that Michael Jordan card. He has Michael Jordan MB. Like those are two cards that are just like mid tier down, down, down. You be when you're playing for like this extended period of time, like I'm telling you, listen, yeah. Your mental starts to just get messed with a little bit. You're playing for four, four or five straight hours, like of just 2K. There are no potty breaks. There is no unless you brought water with you. There is no get up and go get some water real quick. You pro, unless you ate before. You are hungry. You're starving. Like and you're just playing 2K. You're repeatedly playing 2K. That is all you're playing for four hours. You gotta lock in for four hours to just play 2K. So it's a couple games where like I started off real slow because I didn't, I didn't have nothing. I was tired. You feel me? Let's get into this game. Most we got the ball 0-0. Zero, zero. Been a minute without scoring. That's a lot of time, you feel me? As you see, it looked like he holding some decent defense from the three, but I, I get my board. You know, I look for the three right out gate. PG give me one. I think he turned out to be half decent to start off the game, and then he turned out to just be horrible. Hakeem gets me a quick block because he, he I couldn't score him to start the game off. PG gets me another one. Boom, six zip, quick. I've had two possessions that resulted in less than 15 seconds combined like that's what you want you want to run the score up as much as possible give him good looks but close out on his good looks if he hits look if he hits the yellow you live with it if he doesn't hit the yellow you don't live with it like stuff like that you want them to just throw turnovers boom clay's on the break i spike late jeez yeah that's all you want to do so for all those people who maybe you didn't lose i i agree with you maybe you didn't lose over the uh four four the span of four to five hours but you weren't running up your score enough to win. If you want to qualify, you got to like, you got to almost destroy, annihilate, obstruct their view of ever playing 2K again. That's what I want you to do. He really made it early. That's what's wrong with this game right there. Why are you making it early? The difficulty of 250K is so horrible that it almost aggravates me. That Keem card is just so, he's so smooth. Like, I'm not going to say, I still think D-Rob is the best center, but, like, he's so smooth. That's all you want. You just want them to, you just want to speed them up to shoot them bad shots, etc. And make sure your lineup is more around, like, getting threes than getting twos. Like, don't have, like, Giannis and Sean Marion and Penny in the same lineup. Because if you play a bot, like, none of them are going to knock down the amount of shots that will be needed for you to raise the lead up. Like, even if you are the most chicken person on earth with Giannis, like, you're still going to get more points up and more threes up if you have Carmelo Anthony rather than Giannis. You feel me? Uh, another one, Keen. Quick, horrible shot. Boom, we're out. Push right to the corner. Give me another one. Boop, we back in it. Started off slow. I have 30 points right now. I ended up not scoring for the first minute and 30 seconds of this game. And I bugged out two possessions. I'm 6 for 10. I should be 9 for 10. That's, that's just me. So I'm losing points off that. And yes, that's how I am when I'm playing. Like During 250, I, I should have so many more points. Why don't I? But yeah, basically, as you can see, it just looks like... It looks like a varsity team playing versus an 8th grade team. That's basically all, it, all, all this entire thing was. Just me running and gunning. This is what my whole 250k quads look like. Just me running and gunning versus regular players. And in and, and case somebody sees this, no. Nobody's throwing me any games. Nobody's boosting. Nobody's doing this or whatever y'all was under my comments saying. Like, I didn't deserve to qualify because people quit out for me. When if 95% if of y'all loaded up versus me, y'all would have quit too. Like, if you know you're not going to win and you don't want to waste my time, why would you not just quit? You feel me? But I see it from both sides, though. Don't even trip about it. I got to hit that right there, though. I gotta hit that. I gotta. This is basically all it was. Like I'm saying, now we just chilling, just watching the game play. See the people we got in. Like he got Russell Westbrook. Like it's just certain specific cards that like you know aren't gonna cause you anything, like any trouble. And then it's cards like ah, that's that's the comp version of the cards. Like it, it's lower tier cards that you can see in lineups that aren't bad. Like Zach Levine, Marcus Smart. Mikael Bridges, like those are lower tier cards that like even even Jonathan Isaac, even though how much I would hate to say it, like those are lower tier cards that if you see in the game, you're not, oh my god, his team's horrible. But then if you see like not the new Devin Booker that came out, but the limited Devin Booker, um, I would say John Morant for like 95% of people. It's like 5% of people that got John Morant are actually decent with him, but then it's like the others who have John Morant who are like, no, no, like. They just play limited a lot. So let's get right back into this, though. This is another game we got. 
up 15 to 2 early. Nice little Bucks fan. Sorry to do it to my own. Switching gears quick. But look, you see the type of shots he's taking. Like, this is what I mean by the 250K tournament difficulty might be the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. If stuff like that goes. And he just walked up, did a fast fade into my face, 15%. Should have been 100% it just goes in. I come down, miss a completely wide open shot because it wasn't green. Like, you feel me? The difficulty of this game mode is not, it's not rewarding for the better player. Like, it helps you when you do box stuff. That's why I always say this game is made for Skittle Brains. You see me? Get it out the net. Up 18 to 5. We're running the score. We're doing everything that I'm telling you you're going to need to do in 250. Tries to post me up. I love that. That's why we got Penny Hardaway in the game. Now, if you had Steph Curry right there or little John Morant right there, even the new De'Aaron Fox that it came out, like if they were right there, we wouldn't have just got that stop. You feel me? We wouldn't have just got that stop in the paint. That's why we're running the bigger PGs. Like the bigger PGs just finish stops versus box. Box will try to score in that way. But yeah, look, you see he has the John Morant. Like, hey, if he's going to go dunk on me all game, I live with that. We live to get stops in the paint on people. Like, that's just what, that's my MO right now. But yeah, when I saw John Moran, I usually was pretty happy. Like, because that means he just plays limited a lot. Boom, get another quick. Boom, get to the next game. It's the same thing. You're just trying to, if you, you want them to quit, but if they quit, it has to be in the first quarter. If they don't quit in the first quarter, then you would rather they stay for the entire game. See, I do my settings quick. I see Penny, I see Harden, I see T-Mac. Team looks nice. So I'm doing the rest of my settings. I saw Hakeem. I saw I saw a regular five. His five was a regular five. I also see he has his mic on. So another thing, this is another word of advice that nobody gonna tell you. In 250, right? If you see them with their mic on, go have a regular conversation with them. This was right after Thanksgiving to see. I could ask him how his Thanksgiving was going. This guy was a uh, he was a Chief Keef fan. He was actually playing Chief Keef songs in my ear. I started singing a Chief Keef with him, and he was like, "Oh, you not you not a lame gamer. You know what you're talking about." So that prevents him from stalling me if I do go up a lot. Like just go have a basic conversation with him. This is for like my content creators and my more players that are winning by 50 and 40, etc. Not the people who are staying in close games. Like, go just say something regular to him. Like, don't just... I stopped myself from getting stalled probably three or four times just off the pure strength that I was having a conversation with the players. You see me? You see my mic moving. I'm, ha I'm not even skipping the lineup screen. I'm having a full conversation with him, and we're just talking because he has a regular five. Like, this is a good five lineup. This is a, star this is a comp lineup right here. Penny Harden, T-Mac, Yaya, and Hakeem. That is a, a real starting lineup. So I actually like thought right out gate, he'd be amazing. So now I gotta see what his game plays like. Yeah, I was in there talking to him the whole game. Like just just small talk with him. When you hit a three or something, be like, ah, you held good D, but that was I just played better. Stuff like that, you feel me? He held good D on the first play. Let's see what he get into. Boom, he get a fast break. He he uses the right stick right out gate. That's a bad, that's a bad right stick dunk. That's, that's, that's bot tendencies right there. You safe dunk right there. He didn't even save dunk. Boom. So you see me. I go get. I go take a two because I actually couldn't get a three my last play. His lineup is good, so I'm not looking to hunt threes just yet. Boom. We're gonna look at. We're gonna look at his night. We're gonna look at his next possession. Boom. You see Harden doing the lullaby. Boom. He throws the Giannis quick buck. Boom. That's me for giving that up while in overload. He's not looking that bad at the moment. He hasn't shown me anything body. Boom. You see Clay. Clay gets me a yellow right out gate. Blew him a kiss. He shoot like Curry walking away doing the shimmy. I think this is Clay when he moved like 37 points in a quarter. Boom. That's why we have Penny right there. If Harden's going up on one of those little point guards, like, that's a stop. He blitzes me quick. This is when I was like, oh, my God, dang. This guy actually might be comp. That's what I'm thinking in my head after I got blitzed off the play. Like, because the game was close for a little bit. But when I saw him do this step back right here, when I just saw him do that move, the game's over. That's bot tendencies. I knew he was a bot and I was giving him too much respect. Time to light him up like the 4th of July. He just did the hard and step back into me and thought it was going to work. That is when I knew the game's over. That's that's all there is to it. That's all that that's all she wrote. You feel me? Boom. Try to do a hop step. I'm there. Now, now I've now I've got the respect for him out of my head. Now I'm playing him how I want to play him. Now I'm running all over the place. I'm on balling to bump him up and then switching back off ball. Boom. He tries to do the hard and step back to me again. Another red. 
boom, that's when I knew he wasn't nice. He just has a good team. He, a he actually has a decent team, though. Like, this is one of the better teams I faced. One of the best, better starting lineups I faced, I should say. Uh, PG. Got him one. Another yellow. Right in his mid. Turn around after I got smacked on my shoulder. Knocked down. Dude, he actually puts his bench in, and this is when I knew, like, he's not good. He just has a great starting lineup. Like, he just pulled the packs for Giannis and them. And ended up getting lucky because he has Kyle Lowry, who's also actually not that bad of a car. Kelly Oubre, who is, like, a decent budget version. Vucevic is, is literally horrible. And Karan Butler is literally horrible, along with Moses Malone. So three out of the five people in this lineup are just despicable. So Clay sees this and just says, hey, I'm going to take off real quick. You feel me? Oh, my goodness, another one. When my clay get hot, that's when this game gets out of hand. When my clay is firing on all cylinders, that's when you know you don't stand a chance. When you when you specifically let my clay or my, you see the step back move, like, I'm living with that. Even on this rookie difficulty they have us playing on, like, I'm living with that. You see clay real quick. You see clay with another one. He ends up missing. Oh, my goodness. I hit that. Like I said, this rookie difficulty. I could give, I could give, I could give the controller to my girlfriend. And I promise she could have scored on this difficulty. He goes up with another contact. Like I said, when I saw him do the first right stick dunk, I knew what type of time it was finna be on. Boom. Clay with the ball one more time. When Clay gets sharp badge, he does this thing called mic drop. If you ever see Clay get sharp badge, if you don't play another game, if you don't play another game mode, in my player, there's a such thing as jump shot animations. If you play triple threat, you know what I'm talking about. Cause you get a jump shot animation off almost every shot. But like Clay, when he gets his sharp badge, does one of the prettiest jump shot animations, and it's called mic drop. He just turns around, looks look, looks at his mom in the crowd, like that's 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 me. It's twenty six to six. I gave this man too much respect in the beginning of the game, though. Like as you can see, give me that cookies. Give me them cookies. Give me them cookies. Give me them cookies. We wait no Melo to get up court. John Stockton's just too too little to guard Penny, but it don't matter. Uh, Melo, hey. And it let me shoot right out, okay? It don't matter. I'm hitting another yellow. But that's basically all I got for y'all today. That's just me showing y'all the re the recap of my 250K experience this time because I have to qualify a second time. Waiting on my email as we speak. Hopefully, I don't got to qualify a third time and I can go focus on current gen. I love every single one of y'all. Make sure all y'all have a blessed day. Peace.